Hello guys, Mike here with Two Windows Scrapping, and today I'm going to show you how to how to scrap one of these electric motors from vacuum cleaners. They all have this, I guess, piece of uh, like cover where the fan's at. So I know most people don't like to scrap electric motors, but it's really easy. So it's really easy and. They have a lot of copper in them, so I'm going to show you how to crack one of these open. So I like to start off by getting rid of this piece here. This usually is the pain. I know that when I first started scrapping, I had a hard time getting this piece off. But with the hammer, it's not that hard. You just, when you hit it, you want to hit it. I guess like where this line's at on this side so it just pops right off. So I'm just gonna start hitting it. Just give it see, there you go. Took three hits. And there's that piece. Throw it your ferris. Alright now we just gotta get rid of this screw here. Just get your drill. And a screwdriver, stick it in here so that way it doesn't rotate. On these, it's going to be clockwise, yeah, clockwise instead of counterclockwise, like every other screw. So, now let me see. Yeah, a weird angle here. Let's stick it in here. Alright, and that should come right out. See a weird angle there, I couldn't get to the top. And we're gonna have a little piece of ferrous, and this is just gonna be some aluminum there. Throw it in your aluminum. Alright, now, next piece to get this this piece off here and this just has some screws just unscrew that it's real cool. and that should come right out like that plastic for the bucket plastic bucket all right so these you just take this these screws off here I'm gonna have four screws. Take this off. Give it a little bang on the opposite side there. Get that inner piece out. And this you can throw with your electric motors, your copper bearing electric motors. That goes over there. Alright, so now we gotta get. You see this piece here? We gotta get this out of this casing. So we're gonna go ahead and open up this side here so we can have some space to hit it. Alright, so you see these two holes here? Those are your best friends. You just get a screwdriver. We're gonna have to clamp this down. Alright, try to get that metal piece in there. Alright, kind of move down a little bit. I forgot to cut. Make sure you cut these. Copper there. All right, so we're just gonna get the screwdriver. Or this is another way you can do it here. Just clamp this, and it should pop it right out. All right. 
clamp that down. Get your screwdriver. There we go. It's starting to come out. There. Just give it a little pop there. And it starts to come right out. There it is. A little wiggle. There's more wiggles. And there's that piece right there. And the inside. Then you can have some brass here, you can take that off later. Alright guys, so now that we got this center piece out, we just go ahead and put it back on the clamp. Make sure it's nice and tight. Let's get this these plastic pieces off here. And just get the screwdriver in the bottom again, loosen it up. On both sides. Get your wire cutters, cuts, cut, make sure you cut all the way through the first time so you don't want to go and turn it around and then have to come back to turn it again and then just endless cycle there, so it's better to make sure you you uh, cut through it the first time. Just cut all the way through. This is probably the hardest part. Right, so now you go ahead and turn around. Get this little plastic off here. And just pull up and over. There's a nice piece of copper there. And the same thing to this side. And there's some more copper. And then these pieces I took off the uh, casing there. This is going to be some brass there. Okay, but so back to this piece, you just pull it out like that. Some people resell these. There's people out there that will buy them. Uh, so they can uh, put them in their old electric motors but I don't have time for that so I'll just scrap up all, the whole thing well anyways just cut this copper off this little copper line here and then that should free up your brass and some ferrous there it's gonna be like a little piece of carbon some more copper some carbon there, and the casing is going to be ferrous. So that's about it, guys, for this electric motor here. Um, it's fairly easy. They're all the electric motors are sort of the same. The I think the hard part is uh, breaking them open, or how to break them open, how to get them open, and what to do after that. So thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.